I've been taking taking this thing multiple times already. It's really hot here in the San Francisco Bay Area because I had kids running around. Uh, so hopefully it's it's a little bit quiet now. So let's do this. So anyways, uh, I'll be discussing tire rotation and. Uh, this is only going to be just a basic idea. I'm not going to go all the technical details just yet. I'll be going that, going over that on, um, on another video. Uh, but uh, basically what tire rotation is, is just a procedure where you as the owner of the car or a mechanic, in, in this case, we're going to be doing this on a customer's car. Um, it's, it's supposed to actually uh, provide even tire wear for your car uh, before you even do it, an actual full on tire change. So I'll be explaining this on two-wheel drive vehicles because uh, four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive vehicles such as Subarus, Lamborghinis, and Jeeps and actually four-wheel drive Model 4 runners will have a little bit of a different uh, procedure on their, on their uh, tire rotations. But uh, this is going to be on focusing on mainly two-wheel drive vehicles, both front-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive. This car right behind me is a 1995 Toyota 4 runner or for those who live in Japan, the Toyota Hilux Surf. And the Hilux Surf has nothing to do with the Hilux pickup truck that you guys have. But anyways, uh, to do it to perform a tire rotation, it's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, I'm mainly explaining this on two-wheel drive vehicles. So for those who own front-wheel drive vehicles or rear-wheel drive vehicles, then this should be a piece of cake. Um, we have something called a modif the, the modified X method. I will actually go through, go over that in a bit. But basically what you do on front wheel drive vehicles to do a tire rotation on those cars, all you need to do is take the, the bad tires, which is on the front, to the rear, and take the good tires, which is on the rear, to the front. The opposite is true when you're with rear wheel drive vehicles. You take the good tires to the back and take the bad tires to the front. That's basically what it is. So front wheel drive, bad tires to the back, good tires to the front, rear wheel drive, good tires to the back bad tires to the front. That's how it works. Now, like I said, I mentioned Modified X. I'll grab an RC car and I'll show you how it works on those. I did say a remote control car. Why not a real car? Because I am not at my at my, uh, at my little shop where I, where I can actually lift up a car and actually perform the tire rotation procedure. And even if I do it here at home, it's going to be a big hassle. So I am not going to be lifting up this this freaking behemoth of what you call an SUV, quote unquote, uh, just to do a simple video. So yeah, like I said, I'll just use a remote control car to make just to make life easier for you guys and for myself. All right, now I'm back in my room. Uh, now I'm gonna be explaining how to actually perform the tire rotation method here, which is called the modified X. Now, first of all, I know what you're thinking, FHRC Brony. Your videos are awesome, but goddamn, why are you using a crappy camera quality? Well, uh, my iPhone is currently being, it's currently exporting another video because I have a Forza video uh, awaiting to upload. So, anyways, uh, uh, to do a full-on tire rotation method, like I said earlier on, I am not going to be taking my Toyota 4Runner to a shop and lift it up just to do a freaking video all right since I have remote control cars in my room right now I decided to just use that as a reference point okay so it makes my life easier and makes uh, hassling a breeze <laughs> anyways enough fooling around so let's just begin a tire rotation uh, procedure so I'm not gonna be taking off the rims off of this car but basically as you can see here this one has treads um, the rear tires have treads and the front ones don't. So, if this car was a front wheel drive vehicle, you take these front tires, you take these front tires to the back. Now, uh, what do you do with those rear tires uh, since they have tread? What you do, I'd mention the modified X method. So picture your car like this, or look at your car from behind, and just, just like, draw an imaginary letter X on top of your car just like that so with the modified X method on front-wheel drive vehicles you take the front tires to the rear okay 
and then what you do with those rear tires the right tire with the mo using the mod using the modified x method the right rear tire goes to the front left side on the uh, of the car now on the left side rear you take that and move on to the right side front of the car now on rear wheel drive vehicles if this one has the wear and the front ones don't all you need to do is take these tires straight to the front and these front tires the front right will go to the rear left and then the front left will go to the right rear so that's how you do tire rotation on two wheel drive vehicles using the modified X method and that is it guys that is the basics of tire rotation in a nutshell uh, yeah like I said it's pretty simple to do Anyways guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like it, please hit the dislike button. Either or, helps me a lot, and I appreciate your feedback. And until then, I'll talk to you guys again soon.